Hello my friends! I know it's been a long time, I've been going through a pretty long art vlog but I was finally able to sit my butt on this chair and draw something for you guys. Today we're drawing as many Studio Ghibli characters as we can for a commission piece that I'm doing for my stepdaughter's birthday. Yeah, she loves Studio Ghibli movies, I love Studio Ghibli movies and you probably love Studio Ghibli movies so let's start this drawing. But first we need to find some reference pictures. So I just went on good old Pinterest, started a new board and yeah. Once we have some references for our characters, we can grab our pencil and eraser and start the sketch. I'm just gonna draw a bunch of our favorite characters randomly and let's see how this will come out. Pretty out of my comfort zone, but we can do it. As you can see, I'm still looking for references as I draw and remember to always draw the main shapes and angles before adding any details. And finally, we have our sketch ready. Now it's time to grab our nice fine line ink pens and outline the sketch. I'm using a 005 pen to make thin and delicate lines. And right now we can just outline the main lines and later we'll add more details with the ink pen again. Once we have the outline ready, it's time for the fun part. Yes, we're finally gonna color it with alcohol markers. I usually like this toned down, less saturated colors. I don't like bright and vivid colors, as you know. So this is what I'm going for here. After we added the main colors, it's time to add some shadows and I'm just gonna do this by drawing a few more layers of the same colors on top of what we have on paper already. And we can also add some extra details that we're missing with the ink pens to make the drawing even cooler. This is a reminder to not leave your tea next to your drawing for very obvious reasons. I did dry the paper with paper towels right away and I didn't really bother to turn the camera for you guys to see because it was an emergency, okay? Then I cleaned up my space and as you can see, there's some minimal damage over here where the ink smudged a little bit. So now we're gonna fix that by painting the background with a darker color. So let's do this. And that's it! We are getting to the end of this video and I had so much fun doing this drawing even though it's totally out of my comfort zone, I am not very good at drawing characters but this is the best I could come up with so always remember to not judge yourself and not compare your art to anyone else's because this is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you want me to draw next. See you next time. Bye.